What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. I was gonna take today off. I watched the Bo Burnham special with my wife. It was amazing on Netflix. I highly suggest it. And with this talking of high brown content that he's doing, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video where I read off cards, give my base level opinion, let my community do the hard work in the comment section down below as everybody else starts to go into what these can do while saying, haha, yeah, these are like true Dracos. I have not read these, but I have already heard that they are tribute centric and and it took the org a while to get these up. Understandable, it seems to be a lot of cards, and they do their job right. So let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization. Flunderese X Impin, a level 10 Wind Wing Beast effect monster. Oh boy, Icarus attack buyouts in 2021. Attack 2700, defense 1000. If this card is tribute summoned, you can add one Flunderese spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one monster. Now, if I am interpreting this right, it's not that you gain an additional normal in the turn, so you can keep stacking these kinds of effects theoretically, and I don't see a hard once per turn on this, although you're searching a spell and trap, not a monster, and then you immediately after resolve summon a monster, so that becomes resource management. While this tribute summon monster is on the field, your opponent's special summon monsters in attack position cannot activate their effects, so they've got to special summon them in defense, obviously link monsters have to come out and attack. Uh, XCs are kind of bigger, so you could just ride into pop, but then you can overlay again and get an attack and go Zeus. Yep, that's the modern format, and there's all the negations. But on paper, that's pretty darn cool. If this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, you can banish one card from your hand. That mo opponent's monster's current attack and defense becomes halved until the end of this turn. Turn. So it doesn't have to attack it specifically. I do like, I don't like that it's specifically from the hand. You're actually giving up a resource. I wish it was from the graveyard and that interacted some other way. Unless we're going to see some pitch resources happen by banishing specifically. That would be interesting and somewhat new as a mechanic. Like, to want to banish cards from your hand and that gets an effect. Well, Thunder Dragon said that, I guess. Flundrees X Snow is a level 10 water wing beast effect monster. 2900, that is beefy. Defense 800, though, not very big there once per turn if you control this tribute summon card you can activate this effect you can conduct three normal summon slash sets this turn not just one and then i'm sure you can gain those additionals wow that is a pretty big extender although to have tribute summoned that you probably would have gained additional already uh, that's a bit weird and distant coder obviously will know those rulings better while this tribute summon monsters on the field if your monster attacks a defense position monster inflict piercing oh boy blanket piercing for the field the birds get them once per opponent's turn quick effect you can banish one card from your hand, change all opponent's special summon monsters to face down. Put the, okay, that's pretty good. You banish a card and you change everything to face down. Defense, blanket, Omega, Book of Moon. We just did Book of Eclipse for one bunch. Oh, any amount of cards for my banish. That is freaking insane. It is still in a monster body, but that is... That's nice. I like that a lot. That is a good quick effect. Okay, this archetype's proving some very valiant boss monsters that give good effects in resource management and also getting additional normals. We got Flundrees X Rabina, a level 1 water wing beast effect monster, attack 600, defense 1200. You can only use the first and third effects of this card's name once per turn. Also, you cannot special summon the turn you activate either of those effects. So the trade off is you're trying to normal, 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 normal. If this card is normal summoned, add one level 4 lower wing beast monster from your deck to your hand, then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon a wing beast search anything and throw it up on the board congratulations if this face up card leaves the field banish it so there's that banishing effect if a wing beast monster is normal summoned to your field while this card is banished you add this card to your hand something that does want to be banished and does a resource back konami this is sounding competent and the artwork is also amazing these birds have generic looks but then you notice the flare in the artwork and then the other really out there i like this a lot. Keep it up. Come on. What's next? Flundrees X Eaglin is a level 1 wing beast effect monster. Man, for a giant eagle only, uh, well, I guess it is a gold to the rest of the world. Sorry, America, K Kona. Attack 800, defense 1000. You can only use this first and third effects of this card's name once per turn. You can't special summon when you activate those effects. If this card is normal summoned, you can add a level 7 or higher wing beast monster from your deck to your hand Then immediately after this resolves, normal summon it. Oh my gosh, so normal summon, search, normal summon 
summon search uh, like after the, oh my gosh okay it's all just coming together that easy uh if this face up card leaves the field you banish it if a wing beast monster is normal summon to the field while this card is banished add it to the hand wow wow okay keep it coming we got the ostrich flundry's x2 can though is a attack 500 defense 13 so i guess it's this little bird and the ostrich is just mad at it you can only use the first and third effects once per turn also you can't special summon the turn of these effects if this card is normal summoned you can target one of your banished flundry's cards add it to your hand then immediately after this effect resolves you can normal summon and there's not like limits to the normal summons just those activation of effects so you can continue using these resources but you can't extra deck climb instead you go within the deck's routes making this still pretty exciting to see what they're bringing if this face-up card leaves the field banish it if a wing beast monster is normal summoned to your field while it's banished add it to the hand oh man the resource chains of this deck is crazy it gets a field spell of course it gets a field spell flun the reason the mysterious map is a field spell card you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn during your main phase you can reveal one level one flunderies monster from your hand and if you do banish a flunderies card with a different name from your deck which you'll get that resource back when you normal something immediately normal summon the revealed monster so normal summon trigger that effect get it back get an extra card go crazy if your opponent normal summons a monster you can immediately after this effect resolves normal summon a fun normal summon on your opponent's turn sure why not just start your own chain of events sure okay that's a pretty good field spell too flundries and the unknown when continuous spell card you can only use the second effects of this card's name once per turn you cannot you can conduct a tribute summon that requires two tributes by sending one monster you control and one card your opponent controls to the graveyard instead of tributing and it's still treated as a tribute summon and that's that's searchable by the big boss right during your main phase you can reveal up to two wing beast monsters in your hand and place them on the bottom or top of the deck in any order and draw the same number so resources you've already used to try to dig further this card's got one for one resource management on the tribute summon helping enable your other things to be even bigger and save your resources to normal summon after the resolution of those and then on top of it you're able to go ahead and hand fix it's the total package this deck's nice except for the extra deck clock and it seems to be doing a really good job for itself flunderies and the city of dreams a normal trap card you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn during the main phase immediately after this effect resolves normal summon a level four or lower wing beast monster so you can start your own chain of events without relying on the field spell card but you give up this card if you tribute summon a level seven or higher monster while this card's in your graveyard you can banish this card change all monsters your opponent controls to face down defense an actually really good trade-off and uh you can only use the second effect once per turn but it doesn't say like the same turn this is sent or anything you can actually just okay activate this and then at any point in time while my seven is still on field but up 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 it doesn't matter if you dark ruler no more it doesn't matter if you used forbidden droplet you go ahead and flip it all down it's been a long time since i've been this excited for an archetype this this is nice flundries and the scary sea is a counter trap card you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn if you control a face up tribute summon the monster and no special summon monsters and your opponent would special summon a monster or monsters your opponent cannot special summon monsters the rest of this turn but they can conduct three normal summon summons and sets this turn so they can wall up not just one also negate the summon and return it to the hand so basically you can slap it they cannot access their extra deck the entire rest of the turn an on-demand domain they can then only normal summon not link climb axes go anywhere wow and that's searchable isn't it once again that is searchable if this isn't stuff isn't it any spell or trap like not normal i don't want to misquote you can add a flundry spell and trap and that's not a hard once per turn as many times as you can pump this out unless there's text missing that's i like this deck a lot so we've got resource management we've got climbing we've got the total package all making normal summoning cool again making the entry point for duelists needing to understand what's going on lower we haven't had a deck like true draco that actually screamed more fairness because all the true dracos were self-replacing and did three things whereas these they kind of help you continue help you be active help you quote unquote combo without an unbreakable board and said uh, boards that lead you to decisions on timing restricting your opponent this is really cool and 
and I like it. What do you guys think? Am I just overhype on the reveal? It's something I totally didn't expect. When I heard True Draco, I thought I was going to glaze over and be like, oh, okay. No, this actually goes into route, 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 flip your opponent's stuff face down, mess with them. You don't have an Omni negate and send you restrict how they go. I am loving this. This is really cool. Good job, Konami. It's been a long time since I've really looked at an archetype and said, okay, this is it. Burst of Destiny looking freaking good. I believe this is our next core set. So that is also pretty interesting to see after, you know, in the TCG, we just got Lightning Overdrive. We still have Dawn. This is the set after Dawn, the final one for the Megatons, if I'm not mistaken as well. So they might really put their best foot forward for the 2022 Megatons as well when we're looking forward all the way a year later. I know they might be trying to supercharge the set and I like where this is going. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed these conversations and wow, good job. Seriously, I can't say it enough. That is unique card creation and I like where it went. It all came together.